Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be my fourth update for my Power of Pan Project Pan. So if you want to see what my progress has been on the products that have been in this project the last month, if I have any rollouts, and if I do, what may be rolling in, well then, sit tight. We're going to jump right into it. My name is Marie and I am a beautiful mess. Here on my channel, I like to do a lot of project panning content, eyeshadow content, and really any other kind of makeup content that I can think of. So sit back, relax, and come on a magical makeup journey with me. So like I said, this is my fourth update for the Power of Pan Project Pan, which is a project that focuses around the TV show Charmed. This is a fantastic ladies collab and was created by Nikki Pearson. All of their information is going to be found in the description box down below. There are a total of 22 prompts in this project and I have been rolling them in about six at a time just because I am doing a lot of other projects. This project started on October 7th of 2023 and runs through October 7th of 2024. So it is a full year project. That means we have about eight months left in this project. So uh, I think I have some work to do. <laughs> Let me go ahead and share my progress with you. We're gonna start at the top of the list and work our way down. Product number one that has been in this project since the beginning is for the prompt Prue, which is also telekinesis. Something that you want to move out of your collection. And what I chose was my Essence Lash Princess Mascara in the waterproof version. Unpopular opinion, I don't like this mascara. On me, it flakes, it smudges. So I have been wanting to get this out of my collection. I have been pairing this with a tubing mascara so that I don't become a raccoon when I do wear it. Last month, this was weighing in at 29.58 grams. Today, it's weighing in at 29.22 grams for a total of 0.36 grams used. It is slow going, but as I'm feeling it, it, it feels very light. I have no idea how many more updates this is going to take to use up. Mascaras baffle me because when I think I'm almost done with them, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Going forward, I think I'm only ever going to purchase mini sizes of mascaras just because now I know you're supposed to throw them out between this three and six month mark. And uh, yeah, not doing that with this. It still works fine. It's not irritating my eyes at all. I know, I know, I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. Yell at me in the comments down below. I anticipate maybe next update this will be rolling out, maybe two more months. I'm gonna have to wait and see. Product number two is for the Prompt Piper, which is also Freeze, because that was her power. And this corresponds to an anti-aging product. What I chose has also been in since the beginning of this project. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is in the anti-aging formula. I have been absolutely loving this eyeshadow primer. When I need to repurchase another one, this may be the one that I do repurchase. I do have more in my collection though that I want to get my thoughts on before I go out and do that because I've decided really I only need one of these at a time in my collection. Last month, this was weighing in at 14.28 grams. This month, it's weighing in at 13.18 grams for a total of 1.10 grams used which I think is more than I used last month. This product absolutely feels light. I would have thought I would have been done with this by now, but it's like the mascara. You think you're done with it, but wait, there's more. I can't imagine there's more than two months use of product left in here. It'll definitely be a rollout by the end of this project, but I tell you, project panning really has shown me how long it actually takes to use up products and is helping me inform my shopping decisions because of it. Product number three corresponds to the prompt Phoebe and her power was premonition. Something you predict you'll love using. 
So I decided to roll this in. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This was just a little trial size that I got from Sephora, but it is in the shade 11, and this is way too dark for my skin tone. Last month, this is rolling in at 5.84 grams. Today, it's weighing in at 4.76 grams for a total of 1.08 grams used. And I have been using this a couple different ways. I had a foundation that was too light for me for this time of the year that I really wanted to get used up in my Rolling Project 10 pan. So I was using a drop or two of this to deepen that up. Now that that foundation is gone though, I have gone back to using this as a liquid bronzer which in my Project 10 Uses project pan, I rolled all the bronzers in. So this has been slow going usage since that happened. But there's not much left in there. <sighs> Am I a broken record if I say? <laughs> you think you're done with it, but wait, there's more. I only use a drop of this at a time for liquid bronzer because it is so dark. So I anticipate, yes, it'll get used up by the end of the project, but I have no idea how many months left I have with this project. If I had to wager a guess, I'd say two, maybe three. We'll see if my predictions are accurate. Product number four corresponds to the prompt P3 or the power of three, which when the girls put their powers together, they are the power of three. And also the nightclub that they owned in the show was called P3. And this corresponds to a trio of products. So I chose to roll in my Ulta Beauty 3-in-1 Cheek Palette in the shade Santorini Sun. This is what it was looking like last month, weighing in at 112.79 grams. This is what it's looking like today, weighing in 112.52 grams for a total of 0.27 grams used. And this is what it's looking like up close and personal. I really have been focusing in on the bronzer. My goal on this was to hit pan on something and I definitely see a dip in that bronzer. And that is what I'm going to be aiming for in this project. But coming to realize I haven't touched the blush or the highlighter in this palette at all. And if I want to include this in my stats for touching every makeup item in my collection at least 10 times this year, then I need to start getting some uses on those as well. I knew that this was going to take a long time to hit pan on something. I figured that this was going to be in the project for the long haul. It is a baked item and it just amazes me how baked items wear down. It is fascinating <laughs> to me. It's very different than regular eyeshadows. It wears down in a weird way. Like there's a line, like a crack in it just from the usage. And I'm like, how did that happen? But that's happening in my other baked products. I really don't have a lot of experience with project panning. I recently just started it about a year ago. So I am learning as I go along. But seeing that dip is definitely encouraging to me. And it makes me want to keep using this, even though I have all the bronzers in my Project 10 Uses project. But once I get my 10 uses on those, then I can focus in on this one right here. Product number five corresponds to prompt number 10, which is the Shax Demon, a product that gets a second chance. And what I chose to roll in for this was my Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. This is a favorite product of a lot of people. And I don't know if I'm just using it at the wrong time of the year. I was having a bout of dry skin to the point where I was really red and flaky. Went shopping one day, decided just to put sunscreen on my skin because it was a sunny day and it was an outdoor shopping mall. And this irritated the hell out of my skin, which I don't think sunscreen is supposed to do. So I was giving this a second chance for this prompt. This is what it was looking like last month, weighing in at 20.51 grams. And this is what it's looking like today, weighing in at 11.89 grams for a total of 8.62 grams used. And this is a roll out because this is empty. It is completely used up. My thoughts on this, I don't like it, 
Whereas it didn't irritate my skin this time around because my skin has healed for the most part. It pilled underneath my makeup profusely. And after I used this up, I started using the e.l.f. Woe Glow sunscreen instead as my sunscreen of choice. And that doesn't happen with my makeup when I use that. So this being a more expensive product than the e.l.f., this is not going to be a repurchase. I do not like this at all. I gave you a second chance and you blew it. But this is a rollout and that means we get to roll another prompt in. What I'm going to be rolling in for this product is going to be prompt number 12, which is Dan. A product you know you should love, but you don't. I am deciding to roll this in. I know, go ahead and yell at me. I should love this, but I don't. This is the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I have used some of this already and uh, unpopular opinion, I don't like it. I really don't see the need for it. I think it's overpriced. I should love you, but I don't. So I am deciding to use this up because there can't be very much left in here. And I want to do that in the winter time because I want it gone. So this is rolling into the project wing in at 13.49 grams. Put it in the comments down below. Am I the only one that feels this way about this product? That I'm just not in love with it, even though I should be? Please let me know I'm not alone. And product number six is for prompt number 10, which is Daryl, a product you can rely on. So I decided to roll in my Aquaphor lip repair ointment because I not only have one of these, but two. So I decided this was the correct time of the year to be rolling something like this in. And I absolutely do love this product. When I have chapped dry lips, this always revives them. So the two of these together is how I've been weighing them. This is what they were looking like last month, weighing in at 18.86 grams. And this is what they're looking like today, weighing in at 16.24 grams for a total of 2.62 grams used. And this one is completely gone. There is nothing left. If there is, I can't get it out and I'm not gonna hurt myself doing that. So then I moved to this one and Suffice it to say, I think this one's almost done too. I think I can get this used up in the next month, which is exciting because, you know, we're in the middle of February right now, going through the middle of March, it's gonna be spring and maybe my lips won't be so dry by that time. So how am I doing overall in this project? There were 22 prompts at the beginning. Instead of overwhelming myself and rolling them all in, I have been choosing to roll in six at a time. And by my calculations, I have completed nine of the 22 prompts. I have the existing prompts that I've shared with you rolled in, which means there are 10 more prompts that I have not even touched yet. And we have eight months left to go. So I feel like I'm on track to at least be able to roll everything into this project and possibly meet all of my goals aside from the really extravagant ones like hitting pan in the bronzer that that may not happen but I may surprise myself if you're doing this project on whatever platform you're doing it on put it in the comments down below I'd love to hop on over and cheer you on with this because I have absolutely been loving this project and I want to share in that joy but that's everything that I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. You know I always love when you do. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. It lets YouTube know that you like my content and that other people with the same interests as you will like my content too. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.